uh, in today's video we are going to study a very simple experiment or we are going to talk about a very simple experiment it is to study the characteristics of zener diode zener diode is a specially designed diode which is used to work in the reverse bias mode if i use my zener diode in the forward bias it will work similar to that of a standard k n junction diode whereas zener diode because of its heavily doped junctions they usually have a breakdown at certain fixed value of reverse breakdown potential and even this particular property of breakdown of zener is used in the voltage regulation and that is why zener diodes are most of the times used as zener voltage regulators let us first of all have a look at the circuit here if you observe in the textbook whatever circuit has been given a very similar kind of circuit we also have shown here and that circuit makes it so very easy for us to actually make connections as well here in this case i find i have got a, a variable source in fact this i am supposed to have as a variable voltage source the positive of which will be connected to milliammeter next is connected to the negative of zener diode across zener diode we have got a 0 to 10 volt voltmeter there is a load resistance connected in the circuit it is used to control the current flowing through the zener diode so that the zener diode will be safe of course there is a key in the circuit now we will start having a look at the apparatus so here i have 0 to 12 volt variable power supply you can change this potentiometer or even there are two power supplies here you can change this regulator and increase or decrease the potential difference there is a milliammeter i am using it's from 0 to 25 milliampere i have got a zener diode here and connected to this zener diode specifically its cathode has been connected to black anode has been connected to red terminal so that it makes it very easy and then there is a additional load resistance in the circuit as well <coughs> we have a voltmeter ranging from 0 to 10 volt and there is a key in the circuit now i'll start making my circuit connections and as i start making connections here i'll first of all connect the positive of the source i'll keep the source voltage on minimum right now the source is off <coughs> positive gets connected to positive of milliammeter the negative of milliammeter if you observe in the circuit that negative of milliammeter is to be connected to the cathode so you have this negative of milliammeter that has to be connected to cathode so it will be connected here i am not right now connecting it the next terminal of diode that is anode is straight connected to a load resistance it is internally connected here and the next one has to be connected to a key in most of the laboratories people do use a ready made circuit and then the problem of making all these connections gets over there so uh, people uh, do have this experiment as a very simple experiment in that particular case you just have to switch it on and take the readings in our laboratory we ask students to actually make connections and that is the better way to perform the experiment 
now what we observe is that between the two ends of the zener diode we have to connect it to a voltmeter yes it is no yes now it's getting connected that will get connected to the positive of voltmeter and the other wire from anode will get connected to the negative of voltmeter here so i have got all my circuit connections over here so uh, i have made all my circuit connections here and now it's time for us to turn on the circuit first thing i actually try to do is i'll put the source on before uh, that i'll ensure that this potentiometer knob is on minimum so that zero volt is there i'll put my source on the lights are on here so it is fine we are using left hand side source i'll insert the key and slowly i'll start increasing this voltage as i start increasing the voltage as i know in case of zener diode the potential difference across the zener diode even if it keeps on increasing in reverse biased mode the current in the circuit will still continue to remain as zero in fact we if at all we are using very sensitive instruments maybe instead of current measuring instrument like this milliammeter if we are using digital uh, multimeters for measuring current we will find that very very small amount of leakage current actually can be observed in the circuit now as i start increasing this voltmeter reading at some particular point i'll find that the voltage keeps on increasing but still the current meter does not give you any reading here so as i still keep on increasing at some particular value of reverse breakdown voltage the current in the milliammeter will just begin to start now i observe it's going to happen here so this voltage is almost up to 6.4 volt or something and the current in the milliammeter has just begun so this is the point of the reverse breakdown and the voltage for which this current in the circuit just begins to flow is called as reverse breakdown voltage in fact what we have to observe is rather even if i further increase my voltage by changing this knob if you also observe my hand is there on the knob here as i keep on increasing this voltage further the voltmeter reading will remain will remain constant it will not change but the milliammeter reading has considerably increased so if i observe now the voltmeter reading still is on 6.4 to 6.6 volt approximately but the milliammeter reading has increased considerably and it has reached almost till 14 or 13.5 milliampere so what i observe in all these cases is for different different values of voltage i will try to observe what are the different values of currents in the milliammeter initially the voltage will just keep on increasing but the current will not be there and once the current begins the voltmeter reading will remain fixed it will not change and the current will then keep on increasing we can note down all these things in the columns of voltage and current columns and there we find that once the breakdown of the diode starts once the reverse current starts flowing through the diode the voltage across or the potential difference across the zener diode that will remain fixed and this exact property to maintain the same voltage or the potential difference in the reverse mode of zener diode is going to make it very popular as a voltage 
clipper or as a voltage regulator so that is the basic property that we want to study in fact as we said it earlier if you use more accurate instruments the curves can be much better and we will try to then have more accurate readings but of course that particular thing will be done in the advanced uh, learning of physics to begin with to study the characteristics of zener diode i guess this is the basic way in which you all can perform this experiment and try to understand what is meant by the zener reverse breakdown characteristic thank you